How do you guys like your steak cooked? Um, wipe its horns off. I mean, knock its horns off, wipe its ass, and bring it out to me. I want it rare. <laughs> way to fuck that up before you did it, by the way. Shit. I don't I don't like steak. I don't, like I don't steak. eat red meat normally, but I like the... Oh, that's the song. Shut up. Some podcasts are slow, and you don't know how long they last. That's why you're listening to 10-Minute one time I was over at Callan's house and you were like, hey, how do we cook this meat? Because you didn't know how to fucking do it. And That's I was like, bullshit. no, you didn't. I was like, let's do it Chicago style. You get that motherfucker hot. I like the outside charred and the inside red. Shut up. I'm I, fast. Grew up, I grew up in the, uh, I lived in the forest for a long time and I had to harvest my own meat and I ate it raw. So, I don't like hey, let steak. me ask you guys a personal question. You got, uh, Welcome this- to the 10 minute podcast. Yeah, we're brought first, to- first, let's yeah. introduce ourselves, you <laughs> sorry. fucking idiot. Sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Brought to you by Amazon, sorta. Go to the website, fucking hit the things, yeah. and Gamefly. Gamefly! Uh, my name is Will Sasso. I'm Brian the Kid Kelly. I'm Chris D'Elia. Man, that's so fucking annoying when you do that Gamefly well, I, oh, thing. Gamefly! I yeah. hate it. Hey, yeah. guys. Um, You guys are... This is... All right. Mm, you guys are straight. Right? Yeah. yeah. Are you? Okay. Uh-huh. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I never fucked around with a guy ever, okay. in fact. Yeah. And one time a guy tried to jump me when I was like nine or ten years old. For real? Yeah, and for you real. You were the size of a grown man. I, well, yeah, I probably was, was twice or three times you. the size, but he was one of my childhood friends. And he went, "Let's play, let's play, uh, mommy and daddy. I'll, yep. You be the daddy, I'll be the mommy." Yep. No. I swear to God, and he jumped on me wow. and tried to kiss me on oh. his bed, and I ran all the way home. I had a guy, I took and a it sh- changed our friendship. I was taking. Oh a yeah, shower. really? Wow. No. Obviously, yeah. I was at a lake on vacation with my family, taking a shower, an outdoor shower. And a guy I was hanging out with, he got a hard on and he looked at me and he asked me this question. I swear to God, he goes, you ever dry hump? <laughs> Have you ever dry humped? I remember I told my dad that. My dad was like, well, some guys will want to do that with you. Uh, really? He was, he was my age. And I was like, nah, I'm not really into that. <laughs> I was like, nah, you got, you're got you soaping your dick up. Anyway. I've, um, ne- I've never had anything like that happen to me, for you, real. Well, if you, if you but were I am handsome. gay. If you I'm were, handsome. If I'm you, surprised. If you were gay and you liked me or Will, Chris... And this is for all of us. How would you broach the subject? What how a fucking you, weird thing. Well, how would you come on to us? I mean, uh, if I were, if I was gay if and I gay. was going to come out to, uh, of the yes, closet to you, and you were to try, but you were going to try to, you want with the specific intent of wanting to fuck you or me? Yes. Okay. Well, first, Chris, you have to pick which, which mm, guy you going for? Me. me. No, man. I don't me, know me, because it's me, too dude, hard me, to me, me, know me, because me. of how pick I'm straight. What are you? You're not going to pick me. You pick him. me. Uh, look, would we not make a fucking awesome gay my, couple? Look at my shirt. Yeah, that's fine. Look at my look shirt. Look at my body, though. Okay, look at my well, chest. Look at that. Yeah, both of you guys. Don't you look want to this. sleep on that? Yeah. You want? You want? You want this? I don't. don't you want this over? Like this? this? <laughs> no, dude. This? I don't. I, look, look, listen to me, guys. Guys, 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 guys. Listen to me. Listen to me. Stop smacking your chests. Listen to me. Yeah, no, no. I don't want to. Touch me I don't want to. But listen to me. Listen to me. Run your fingers through my. Listen to me. What? I'm not gay, so I have no preference. So how could I? Hypothetically, pick one. And I don't we're know. We're playing a game here. Yeah, we're just playing a game. It's just a game. It's a game, if you, man. If you had, if you had to, if you, okay, say you were in yeah. love with me and you were gay, what? how would you, how would you approach the subject? I mean, I, I, I don't know. If I were actually gay, yeah. and if I were in love with what you, what would you say? You, what would you text me to break? To break? Well, let's start with that. What would he you wouldn't text. text. He would. Well, nah, he would, I would probably. I, you know what I would do for both of you? What? What? If, 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 if maybe I was attracted to both of you. Okay. And, uh, maybe and you I couldn't just figure it to out. Fish it out and whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think this is what I would do for real. I would. <laughs> okay. I would um, email you both. <laughs> In the same thing, so you CC? could see it. So you, could, so you could see it, not so you couldn't see it. You know how sometimes yeah, they deal yeah, with yeah. the bullshit where you're yeah. just like, oh, who else did they email? But you know it's a group CC. email. Carbon you know, copy. No, this, yeah. you carbon copy. You both know it's for both of you. Yeah. yeah. And I would simply write, uh, no punctuation, I'm gay, LOL. Oh, boy. What would you do, Will? I mean, you're big and strong. Okay. No, no, no. And then this way, I'm not done. So then this way, you could, um, I could be like, you could, it's either maybe think it's a joke. And if you weren't yeah. gay, you'd be like, I just playing. Yeah. But if you were gay, I bet you'd send something a little bit questionable back, Me like too. flirty. Me too. Yeah. Ha, 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 ha. Me too. Right. Ha, ha, ha. And then next time we were together, I would be like, ha, ha, so that fucking emo was crazy, huh? <laughs> yeah. Right. And That's how you do it, though. That's how gay yeah. guys do it. That's they how just gay guys CC get their... each other. All right. Oh, okay. I would, I would, um, Chris, I would call you on the phone. And I never, we don't, we don't, people don't really call each other. You yeah, get angry just, with me every time I call you. I don't like it at all. I know. I, call, I just watch I call it. Brian and we'll talk for a little yeah, bit. But if he's I. He's a call, chick. He's a chick. If I call Chris, he'll go, why are you calling me? Yeah. Just text me. Yeah. So I'll call you on the phone and you, and, and I'll say, hey man, do, like, do girls, 
do girls really appreciate your hair and your eyes? And you'll say, why? Do you, are you looking at maybe getting plugs? for? Do you want more right. hair or something? Right. And I said, no. Do they appreciate your hair yeah. the way I do? And then right. I'd hang up. Oh. Oh, then you hang up. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. The, oh. And yeah. then Brian. For A little you, bit more brazen than mine. Oh. Brian, for you, I'd say, I'm going to come to your house and throat fuck you. <laughs> okay. Oh. Okay. Because you guys are different. I think that Brian would respond to that. I'm just speaking hypothetically. All right. I say, Brian, how about I come to your... I'm going to call you and call you and say, Brian, I'm driving out to Venice. Going to fuck your throat. Okay, Uh well, this is what I would do. Chris, I would shove a loaded gun right up your... Right in your fucking mouth. And I'd fuck you in the ass. And then, for Will... I'd blow your fucking head off. Hey! And then I'd fuck you. Nah, oh, man. Why does yours involve guns? Because I think you guys are shitheads. <laughs> I would enjoy forcing my I think my you just want to kill us. <laughs> well, yes, that's true. Why? Oh, that's way. Was the question, how would I kill you? Or no. Was, it was, how would you come off? You brought it up. Oh. Yeah, what do you mean? What, how, what was the question? You Sorry. asked it. Sorry, I got yeah. carried away. I was just you thinking said... about killing both of you. <laughs> um, no, I think... I think that'd be that'd be a really hard thing to do to like go like to remember there was that movie there was this Adam Sandler movie what was it was it Big Daddy I think where the the two friends uh, those two guys that are in Grandma's house or whatever they played best friends because they're all guys who grew up together they're best friends who became a gay couple I thought yeah. that was a really f- funny bit because it was like well, yeah no one's ever done that yeah. what are they they bought the what I would go. in the movie they played best friends who became realized they're gay and then became a gay couple and it was just I fodder for Adam Sandler remember. to make a bunch of jokes I would right. do I would do uh, I think I would say hey um, let's come over let's play tag and fuck around <laughs> That's a good way. Yeah, and then that's and like then my I would guy, drug, that's then my, I would like my, drug you, that, and then oh. I would and then I'd fuck you. Okay, yours is always like an episode of Dexter. Yeah, that's what yours is. Okay, <laughs> our, our mine is just like a feeling it out kind of thing. Yeah. Mine is I give Chris a compliment. Right. I With tell you, you what kind of you're dominating gonna, thing. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yours is more just like I'll put a gun. I would in your hold mouth. a dog on you. I'd yeah. hold a guard dog on you yeah. and make you strip. Yeah. And then I'd um, and then I'd oh. I'd make you my boyfriend. Here's here's Still what kind of dex here's right? what I'd do I'd I'd take a picture of myself of my own asshole I'd pry my asshole open oh God. and then I would just text it to either of you and just say what do you think of this I would give you I'd send you to a hemorrhoid doctor <laughs> that's what I would do if I just pried my my man ass apart my my fucking asshole all right dude if easy. I pried my whoa whoa, whoa. Hole Jeez, come on open this, this podcast is, is it cool. distended uh, well it would be if I just got my fingers I mean I'm strong no. enough all to right, pull right, my no. asshole's never no, no, had no. anything in it no bro but uh, it, please don't a, I've, I've dropped some fucking big shit logs so oh, it's probably God, come on and i just grab at bro, it just please pin, bro pinch Stop and grab that with your hands and man. fucking just goatsy ah. goatsy my shit apart what does goatsy mean what does you it know, even mean you don't even know what goatsy means of course no, bro, not I oh my don't. god goatsy it's like a meme it's an internet meme it's a okay. guy it's a guy prying his asshole apart no, so i would fucking goatsy my shit I, open no. why and, do you know that because I just know too much about computers and stuff, oh, and the fuck. internet, internet. If you, it's not that's not about computers. If you went to the Mac <laughs> Genius Bar and said, "Hey guys, what's a goat seed?" Oh, they'd, they'd all like, know. Well, they'd they all know. would. But yeah, because God, I'm, did you see the Dictator, the movie, The Dictator? I did. No, that movie made me laugh it's so, so fucking, fucking funny. hard. Why? When he says, first of all, the two of them together are so funny in that movie. Yeah. When he says, "I have a good life now. I'm a Mac Genius," and he yeah. says, "Well, what do you do?" And he says, "I." I I don't I clean semen out of keyboards. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I laughed so hard. That, well, who, how not was to that derail. Movie? That movie was hilarious. It was funny, dude. It was did, fucking funny. Did it funny. not do well? I don't know. I don't know how it did. But I I know that I was I was talking to a buddy of mine about it and he was like, "Yeah, I just wasn't able to follow the story. I just kind of yeah. felt it was I was like, "Yo, shut up. Yo, when you've got fucking that many fucked up g- jokes about yeah. fucking goats and stuff, you throw the other shit out the window yeah. and you enjoy 90 minutes of I mean, absolute it, yeah. lunacy." I mean, it, it, it it wasn't a movie that was like you go for the story. Yeah. It was fucking hilarious, though. Yeah. What what is your what is your favorite movie of the year? Mine? Yeah. When was Black Swan? That was a good movie. That was a couple years ago. That was a couple years ago. That was one of the best movies I've seen in probably probably in the two thousands. Yep. How about you? That movie blew me away. Guys, I want Yeah, blew me away. Brian, let me fuck your throat. Well, come on. Man, that, what are you talking about? I asked you I'm about the movies, dude. I don't I don't I don't actually want to. Come on. <laughs> Holes a hole. Oh man! Oh, hey bro! Holes a hole. Hey bro! Hey bro! Nah man! What? Nah, Thanks for man. 
<laughs> Thanks for listening to the 10 Minute Podcast. Thanks for subscribing and downloading on iTunes. Please rate and review us there. Uh, we're on Stitcher Smart Radio, Twitter, 10 Min Pod, Facebook slash 10 Min Pod. I also like Posse with Mario Van Peebles. <laughs> that was last and year, Stephen right? Stephen Baldwin. Yeah, yeah, that was last year. Posse yeah. with Mario Van Peebles. Single, gra- single greatest movie of all time. Some podcasts are slow And you don't know how long they last That's why you're listening to 10-Minute Podcast He's not going to answer He's going to answer. Swill Sasso's calling Chris Talia. This is Brian, the kid calling. Call has been forwarded. Told you. Let's leave him a message. Oh, I'll bleep that out. Oh. At the tone, please record your message. When you have finished recording, you may hang up or press 1 for more options. Hey, uh, Chris, uh, Brian Callen, Will Sasso here. We're, hey, what's up, Chris? How you doing? How's everything going? Congrats. Um, I guess Way to go be, on everything. Yeah, you're going to do Fallon. You're going to do some stand-up on Fallon. You're on Whitney. You're uh, the lead singer of um, that band fucking, um, what's it called? Shaggy Girl. <laughs> yeah, Shaggy Girl. Congratulations. We want to talk to you about Shaggy Girl. Yeah, we want to talk about um, the estrogen you're taking and how you actually don't have to take estrogen because you are a girl. And how it hasn't knocked the hair off your titties that's right congratulations <laughs> sweet love and uh um i uh i just wanted to say that uh when i see you i will i will drive my boot i will drive my boot in your larynx we miss you man hey we really miss you uh we want to donate your hair yeah that's to very some true. to some uh, different what causes we're gonna do is we're gonna shear your fucking hair i'm gonna hold you by the throat with two hands i'm, I'm gonna i'm gonna rape choke you and uh and will's gonna shear your head and we're gonna sell your hair well, should we sound? should we call him again try to call him again okay, see if he picks up again welcome to the 10 minute podcast uh brought to you by amazon what you do is you go to our website and you hit the amazon thing and you buy your shit and we'll get a kickback also brought to you by game game fly my name is Will Sasso. I'm Brian, the kid, Callan. You know what's so, you know, there's nothing more humiliating. We really want to humiliate a guy. People say, oh, beat him up or something. Yeah. If you were to, like, grab a guy and shear his head or <laughs> or spank him. Yeah. Pull his pants down and spank I've him. I've always said an open hand smack is more, more. Uh, uh, especially to the backside. If you could, yeah. like, figure out a way to hold on to him and just start spanking him until spank it really him, hurt. Spank him in the bum bum. He's not going to pick up the phone. Yeah, he is. This kind of sucks. No, it doesn't. It's good. Do not, do not end this podcast because it sucks. There he is again. There he is. All right, just hang up on him. Hang, don't let him. Oh. All right, fuck him. Um, I guess he's busy. Uh, uh, Chris gets nervous. Yeah, Chris isn't. Gotta, Chris isn't with us for a couple of shows. He's he's getting ready to do uh, Jim Fallon, and he's yeah. He's doing uh he's doing lots of stand doing lots right of stand up. He's yeah. re- really busy. Mm. I keep busy with all. Hey, sorts dude, of if things. you had a band, what would your band be called? Huh? It would be called Warhammer. What would it be called? Would it call Honey Bear or something? No, like it wouldn't be called, called fucking Honey Bear. What would it be called? Huh? It would be called. What would it be called? Let me guess. It'd be called. It'd be called the three dimensional eight. Because that's what you look like. <laughs> it's not what I fucking look like. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. No, it's not. I know what it'd be called. I look it'd like a called, bil- I look like a building. Pink eight. I look like pink no, eight. No, I'm not with, pink eight. Hey, have you guys heard pink eight no. with legs? You heard that band? Pink eight with legs. What 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 what, what would yours be called? Uh, fucking half dead chameleon on a piece Shut of paper. Up, dude. Shaved, on a piece of shaved, white paper. Shaved cheetah. chameleon on a pa- piece shaved, of white paper. Shaved leopard. <laughs> shaved yours would be leopard. called no. Yours would be called river pig. Because you'd just be like, like if like in Cambodia when they go fishing and they, they Don't pull up river. a fucking pig. Like That's... your skin is so fucking just tasty. <laughs> river pig. That is, you know, and funny. they just go, oh, this is a big boar that was down, and they go, no, it's a fucking a woman. <laughs> This woman's been murdered. It's her body. She looks like a pig. Dude. That's what the term that's where dude, the term river pig came that is from. That's so awful. That's where the term river pig. No, you, you never heard that term in no, forensics? I don't want to hear it, dude. River it's pig? horrible. No, I don't want to hear about that stuff. Yeah, Please river don't tell pig. me about that gross your, stuff. Your eyes bulge no, no, no. out. Bulgy eyed googly eyed oh, river pig. God, dude. That's what you're fucking. Please don't say that. My band would be called Cockhammer. All right, well. And our fucking symbol with every good metal band, because it would be a metal band. Uh, has a symbol and it would be a fucking. You know what's metal funny cock. about cock hammer? If you were to call somebody a cock, yeah. they'd be like you're a dick. But if you were like you cock hammer, yeah, you laugh. Almost, yeah, it's almost like a. Uh, it's it's almost like a compliment. Yeah. 
river pig. Be one thing. I'm, the next time somebody's like eating too much, I'm gonna be like, listen, you fucking river pig. There's something <laughs> funny when you add a word to an insult like that. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's pretty yeah, good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fucking. Yeah, what's another one? What's another one? I hope he picks up. You straw gorilla. <laughs> you straw gorilla. Why isn't he picking up? You corn rabbit. You fucking yeah. corn you rabbit. You cart horse. <laughs> You fucking, you wood mule, you. You wood mule. You mule. fucking, you old fucking you, grass goat. You fucking berry ferret. <laughs> yeah, you fucking, you Your fucking, you, an you fucking, you fucking bush coon. Well, you don't bush pull, raccoon. Well, don't pull your fucking denim weasel out. <laughs> you know, a lot of different yeah. things you can like Yeah, sweater to. puppies. Yeah, uh, yeah. Denim weasel. Your denim weasel. Sweater chest. Want to see my hip stick? <laughs> you know, you just, what the fuck does that mean? That means cock. Man. Oh man, yeah, there's nothing better. Yeah, yeah. How would you? How do you like to have your piece referred to? My dick. Yeah, wang. Like, wang. I I prefer dong because it, it implies that that the bottom is heavier than the fucking shaft. It's all right. Just constantly being stretched out my entire so life. So they start like, oh great, and then they're like, oh what a bummer. No, I'm just saying like, oh great, what a bummer. Over years, oh, great, what a bummer. No, I'm just saying like, oh. over the years, like it's just hanging like a fucking bell, if like there's a, a dong. If there's it a makes sound a sound. Effect, if there's a sound effect to describe your your wang, how, what would it be? The sound effect from my my yeah, wang. Your wang. It would be like cutting through air. It would be like it would be like <laughs> it, you'd hear like why and then, why and then this deep gong. It would because it would be like I, I imagine it like a pendulum over the horizon. Ah. It's so huge, you know, like ah. like a, you know, like God's dick almost. Oh just, God, dude, that's really really arrogant. <laughs> And all the villagers are here. At, uh-huh. There's like two Cambodians pulling a river pig out of the fucking. Hey, come on, river. man! Don't bring the river and they just, pig. They in. look up. Their eyes. They look up. Ooh. I I refer to my dick as a river pig now. River pig. Yeah, because it's all bloated. All yeah, just. It <laughs> it's all bloated. What do you and do? Discolored. What do I do, do you, to it? Do I tie it, it off. I dance it in a bar. Do you I soak tie it, it off? Do you, do you, do you do you bury it in in uh, do you bury it in in salt like your like your? I do crazy <laughs> shit to my wang. I have a show where I, it's called uh, uh, Brian Callen does crazy unspeakable things to his wang. I've seen and that. And you show. should see my asshole. <laughs> Holy shit! You think yeah. a baboon's got nothing on me? Yeah. 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 You're, I rub it on pavement. <laughs> your asshole looks like your asshole looks like the. Um, like in the in like it was in the first few episodes of Breaking Bad where yeah. they fucking have the acid in the bathtub yep. and it just burns right yeah, through yeah, the fucking right. floor and there's just blood and wood around it'll, the cut. That's what your asshole Gross, looks like. I it looks like wood around it my looks ass. Like I don't eat wood. Acid burned away. I'm not a beaver. It looks like a, an acid bath of, with a human being. So there's plenty of blood. Ew! I wonder and then if just beavers wood. shit wood. Um, yeah, they probably do shit wood. Here's here's um here's my sound effect for my dick. My the sound effect for my dick just. <laughs> It sounds like the Hulk taking a shit. Well, it's just it's just so heavy. Well, does your dick have a mouth? Why does it? Uh, why is it talking? My dick. I. I. I well, you know, I got a big. My piss hole does make noise. It makes noise. My. <laughs> I got a wheeze. My dick's got a wheeze because I got lungs. I got a rounded. I got like a. I got a rounded head. Oh yeah. Yeah. I call it. I call it the bad news. Why do you call? Because I say. Because I. Why t- do you call- I can- I got a big round fucking doorknob all right, head. All right, but why do you call it the bad news? Because I tell the girls, I say, you want the good news or the bad news? And I say, the I good say, news is I'm gonna fuck you. No, they say, the bad news is take a look at this club. <laughs> no, because we always get the bad news first, right? So they always they always pick the Did bad you say, news. Are you tight? And they then go, I yeah, say, yeah, and you go bad news then. <laughs> no, I give them the bad news. And then after that is the shaft, which is the good news. Now you got the bad. Good news is I'll pay your bills. Bad news is you got to wedge this in there somehow. Hope you own a shoehorn. You got. Hey, do you do you, do you, you know where you get it? You got a handful of butter handy. Ah, uh, yeah. And it's extra hard to get into because all them damn warts I refuse to get taken care of. Uh, hey, do you have any fucking any 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 Pam for the grill? That high high temperature Pam. I'm gonna pull out some Pam because because we will be raising the temperature up in this motherfucker right here. Oh fuck! Uh, it's called Chris again. <laughs> he missed a great podcast. He missed the really so good learning. Oh, we would call if he answers now. We'll just hang up. <laughs> be the end of the podcast. Wait, let's see, if he, picks see up. if he picks up. He's probably on stage right now. Yeah. He's probably on stage doing some dumb character. 
You should see my stand-up now. It's, oh, yeah. it's rated number one. There's no, there's in, no rating. Yeah, it's rated number one in my Comedy Times magazine. There's no such thing as Comedy Times. Thanks for listening to the 10 Minute Podcast. Thanks for subscribing and downloading on iTunes. If you're enjoying the show, please do rate and review us. And uh, follow us on Twitter at 10 Minute Pod, Facebook slash 10 Minute Pod. And um, here yeah. comes the bad news. Here comes the bad news. Let's go. We're going, you fucking right. asshole. Jesus. We're recording. Let's go on, dude. Don't make a horse noise. Yeah, relax, oh, Stop it. I'm so sick of everything sometimes. Someone everything I'm sick of. And you don't know how long they last. Come on, come on, come on. Hey, I'm sick That's of this song. Calm down. I know. We really need the song every time. Just wait. We need the song every time. Yeah, we need the song every time. Welcome to the ten minute. Welcome to the ten minute podcast. If you want to buy something on Amazon, please go to ten minutepodcast.com first. You click through and you'll get it. And it with no extra cost to you, we'll get a kickback. You buy something, then there's GameFly. And all right. And my name is Will Sasso. And the kid Callum. Are you like a kid? Yeah, I'm a kid. And what's your name over there? Yeah. Fucking. Hey man, say your name over there. Being an adult. Yeah, there he is. What's your problem? Huh? What's your fucking problem? I had to sit to a, a birthday party for kids again. You know, I, I go to this thing. The guy's got a puppeteer. I got to. I got to sit to a birthday party. That's what I want to do with my time. Yeah, well, I got to you, watch your son Evan. I got to watch these kids play. Is I got the friends, moms. friends with walking the, around with you your know, little you gotta, kids. Yeah, friends with you your gotta, little kids. Yeah, don't be sexual, by the way, when you're an adult. Don't no no what? fucking allowed. No random whoa, whoa, whoa. random Not, fucking. You're talking about going to a kid's birthday party. Yeah, of course, I know. No I'm just fucking. saying. You got moms. Running around their sun skirts. You can't look there. You know, you got Look at your beautiful wife. Yeah, okay, I will. I'll look at my... That's, I love my beautiful. Uh, yeah, but can I... I can't step out. I can't step out of the arena what once you, in a while. Uh, what are you talking about, can't man? can't dip talking. a toe. Forget it. Let's are talk you about, okay? We'll talk about something else. All right, let's talk about something else. So, uh, yeah. hey, um, uh, Chris, uh, baseball season just started. Yeah, you know, I'm not yeah. really much for sports, but I do. I grew up watching uh, base, 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 baseball, baseball with my friends. I try to fucking slide home and, uh, with someone else. What? Outside Whoa. of my marital confines. What? What's wrong with your marital Nothing. confines? I just, I just don't like that we live in a society where, as a man, I'm, I'm supposed to walk around like a fucking eunuch <laughs> when I got these girls running around, their moms, but they haven't lost their vigor, and I guarantee they haven't lost their fucking sense of what a man's dick is all about. <laughs> well, that's well, they, but, they, but they got kids, so that means they got husbands pumping yeah, them full of uh, yeah. semen making uh, kids. So they're, get, they're getting uh, fucked. Husbands who, uh, with bellies who they're eat getting cake di- all fucking day. <laughs> and I got to sit there because I take off. care of myself and I eat meat. And yeah. I got red blood pumping through my veins and I got a fucking dick on me. Sure. Right? All right. Uh, yeah. So, but, okay. So you were at this birthday party and... Yeah. It was for kids. It was. Were you just? You're just. What are you saying? You're just. You were horny at a birthday party because yeah. you saw some moms in sundresses. I want to do some fucking on the outside. Hey man, you can't do that. Uh, yeah. What are you, you can't do? I, that? I know. I know. I'm. You just, got a wife. Yes, and I love her. Brian, you've been married for thirty years. Yeah. yeah come Brian. on. I, yeah. That's and, I, and God bless and it's all good. Yeah. You guys yeah. got married. You were when you were six, 28? Tw- 16? I want to just go out there and fuck a bunch of girls, though. Apparently, I'm the bad guy. You, you are know? the bad guy. Of course, right. you're the yeah, fucking yeah, yeah, bad guy. I know guy. that. I'm saying you can't I know be the that. bad guy. Yeah, I know. Yeah, well, so don't. Okay, I'm not. Brian. So you're 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 very you're you know you're you're struggling or something or Brian, I mean, you like, can't you can't do that. I know I can't do that, asshole. Don't call me but an it's asshole. It's people like you that say I can't do don't it, and that's like why me. I can't do it because I'm surrounded by fucking Puritans. I'm not like, married. Like, and he's right, well, pointing us. Yeah, he's pointing us. A couple Listen. fucking uh, Puritans on on my right and my left. Yeah, Listen, right. man. I mean, if you're not happy, and you know, I am happy in okay. my marriage. Okay. I don't it's think so. It's just that I got these girls running around. All right. So let's. So you think it's their fault? So what are you gonna do about it? What are you gonna do about it? Begging from a Dick. Right now, here's what uh-huh. here's what I do when I walk into a birthday party. I, you know, I, I got some kid, uh, friends with kids, and they're married yeah. and this sort of thing. Yeah. And I walk into a birthday party. I'm standing about six foot three. Right. I'm I'm built like uh, you know I'm I'm built like I break legs for the Russian Let's mob. Not make this like I may Brian. have gone Let's to Black Brian. Dolphin, uh, you know, up out in Siberia, forty miles Why out of Siberia. Like, side, you know, I'm in. The, it, yeah. Well, like I'm in. I'm built like I'm in prison and with Russian tattoos, and then I'm not Let's sweating not the guy who's a just, cannibal. You know, the guy who punches someone in the in the face. In Moscow, right. and he falls and hits his head hey, on the man, curb, I totally and, then, and then he actually dies. Yeah. So the guy drags him into his apartment, and then decides to eat nah, him. You're kind of missing the point. No, but so, you ever, you ever watch that documentary where it's like, no, but but can we just get back on? I've never seen it. But can we get back on? The... I hit him in the head as hard as I could. Right. No, I get what you're saying. But then he died. Right. 
I so, but I'd you're talking him. about let's go I'm back not, to the birthday. I, that's party. what I'm built like. Okay. I said I thought I'd try him. Well, cannibals. I'm talking about Russian cannibals. Right, it doesn't right. matter. It, it doesn't, doesn't matter. No, it doesn't matter. You're it really, really going off top. Well, so, I'm just saying okay, I'm so, built like someone who could fucking w- win a fucking rumble in a Russian prison. Okay. And I walk in and gr- and I got ice blue eyes. You guys right. got a couple of you guys got four shit brown eyes hey, between hey, you. Hey, you know, hey, I actually and I walk into a party and girls go, girls go. Who's the fuck? Who's that gorgeous Italian Viking? And I can do whatever the fuck I want. I, right? I, I actually single. don't think that that's ever been they a go, thought that look girls at the have fuck, had. No. Hey, what's up with the fucking forearms on the man? No, right? No, no. So no. who's that man? I'm in LA. I'm walking around. I see a lot of guys with fucking beards and hats and scarves right, and dude. t-shirts. But when the kid walks into a party, me. Yeah, right. Yeah. You got nothing because your dick's tied in your knot. Hey, because your your mommy. Your mommy wife won't hey. let you fuck. Hey. So I understand you hey. is all I'm saying. What? I am a virile, rangy, carnivorous man. You're the you're Brian the Kid Callen. Yeah. I fucking fight, I deadlift, I right. fucking run in sand. Right. I run in the sand. Yeah. And I fuck no. deep, hard, and American style. Do you punch cervix? All right. Yeah. Do you well, punch cervix yeah. when you it's fuck? It's called I'll tickle your belly button from the inside. Right. Okay? <laughs> From oh, the right. inside. Well, well, all right. Now let me ask you a question. What? What do they do if, say, you invited me to the party? Yeah. And we're both standing there, and you're, you know, doing your thing yeah. as a sinewy forty-seven-year-old male. Wait, I'm less than and that. And you're the kid. I'm younger okay? than that. Okay. Yeah. But then you got next to you the younger, taller, no. more beefy, no. super deluxo version. No, 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 no. And his dicks. The tip of it's all red from scraping on the ground when he walks. No, 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 no. Yeah. Listen, dragging so, your crank yeah, around the ship Dragging my crank listen, about the ship pebble, yeah. which is fucking this Viking asshole would say. <laughs> what do you do listen. when you got someone next to you like that? No, no. You, you, you are, you are. <laughs> it was you all are, vowels. You look like, you look like an anemic Jesus. No. And and your boy, you're no, not, no. You're not a man. I am a leader. Your I am boy, a leader. Jesus a was the leader. No. Now, what do no. you do though when you got Mister Not Married, right. me, okay. and you got Mister Family Man? Yeah, that's you. Yeah, and you got Mister Russian <laughs> Rumble <laughs> Viking. No, don't do that. Eyes. Stop. Okay. It's okay. Well, that's that was a good whistle, but you know. Okay. Now you. Now now you. All right, all okay, right. but it's all more right. like this. Well, oh, okay. No, that you're tone deaf. No, will no, look. Not. Okay, right. you anyway. got yeah, you yeah. got virile young, right. fucking beefy, yeah. right over here. Yeah. yeah, and you got no. Okay, no. sorry, go on. Sorry, go on. you got no. you got forty eight year old married. Dick in a chastity belt hey, over hey, here. I love my wife. I'm not hey, saying right. I'm gonna cheat. And then you got. I'm saying I'd like a little understanding. Viking. For the difficulty. Ice blue eyes. Russian bathhouse. And that's. No, no right. you're doing it wrong, Will. No, you're look, doing it. Try wrong. this. Try this. He right. doesn't do it right. If I'm describing myself, I go it's this like way. Right. I go. I go. So that's. Yeah. No. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> So look, man. Let me yeah. let me let me solve this for you. Why yeah. don't you just fucking when you go to the party, yeah. you got the kids are on the slip and slide. They're yeah. in the fucking bouncy castle. There's a yeah. fucking the, the the fat paunchy fucking piece of shit dad with the no fucking arms on right. him, no muscle definition yeah. in his fucking golf shirt, flipping burgers, yeah. smelling like hot meat. Mm-hmm. Pull your fucking dick out hey. in front of everybody whoa, whoa, whoa. and say, "What's up?" No, no, those are their children in the area. So yeah, I'm but not you want to fuck? No, no, I know, but I gotta put the kids down for a nap. Nah, fuck that. And Shit, then man. I'm just asking for a little understanding. I gotta walk through my life with sand in my mouth. Uh, maybe, maybe, and I gotta smile through it. I'm saying, how about a little understanding? Once in a while, once in a while, my wife, yeah. my wife says, "Hey, Bri, cut loose. Why don't the two of us cut loose? Tatch each cheat. We tie each other by the wrist. Right. We walk around cutting loose together as right. a team. Yeah, I'll okay. take her for the All weekend. Right. Hey, whoa! I didn't what? say that, bro. What? I'll the take... thing is, hey man, hey man, I... hey, now look. <laughs> Ease up, bro. No, no, no. If I can, I now look. Tell would him you to be, apologize for that. I'm not going to do that because I think he makes a valid point. Now, can I talk, talk to you for a second? What? Can I please? And this, I don't. I know this is maybe coming out of left field. Yeah. Can I please bar your wife? Hey, what the fuck for? What can, do you mean? Can I be ask careful. you a question, Chris? Uh, what do you mean? What? Can you can you borrow his wife after I borrow hey! his wife? Hey, guys. All I gotta do. She ain't no look, shoe toy, bros. I know she no, and I know she's not. But I have some fucking serious. I got a new house. I got some yard work that I need to do. Hey, I don't hey, want to do it. You want my wife? 
You want my wife to do my yard work? And I hey, think it would be down. real. You want my wife to do yard work? I think it would be great. If she just dressed up in a nice, cute little outfit oh. and just... All right, that's it. Okay, right. hey, 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 hey. Thanks for listening to the 10-Minute Podcast. You fucking... Jeez. He's still standing. Yeah, well, that's calm. He's fun. Did you put your finger in my, in my butt? <laughs> right up bit? your asshole. Thanks for listening to 10-Minute Podcast, iTunes and Twitter and things. And uh, we're Ryan all on Vine. Com. And 10-Minute uh, Podcast is on Vine. Ryan and tell Callen. your friends com. about the show so we'll keep it going. RyanCallen.com. Jesus, in my shut butt. up. You know the cool thing about having a podcast, you can say whatever you want. You want to buy my house, Brian? <laughs> what? Three million dollars. Chris you just can buy a house. No, you can't flip it for three million right oh, now. Okay. Some podcasts are slow, and you don't know how long they last. That's why you listen to Ten Minute Podcast. You guys, this is what it's like for me when I watch sports. Come on. Yeah, that was Chris watching sports. That's yep. a Vine. That's from Chris's Chris Vine. Nothing about follow sports. Crystal Lee on Vine. Follow me on Vine. Uh, follow and Brian on Vine. Please follow Brian on Vine. Chris and I have have a fair amount of followers on yeah. Vine, and Chris, Brian, Brian kind of doesn't. Nothing. Yeah, but his are really matter. good. So everybody, shit about Vine. they're okay. They're okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, uh, well, it, okay, Chris, Chris is showing pictures of money. Chris has just showed us a picture of money, of yeah. a bunch of on money. his phone. It's mine. Mine. Well, money. I don't give a fuck. Okay. Uh, and I would say check our. Twitter at 10 min pod to see that picture of money, but just Google money and you'll see what Chris fucking sent us. It's obnoxious. There's man. a check up there in the corner too. I know. Yeah. All right. All right, yeah. All right, all right. Okay. Yeah, all right. You know, okay. okay. Uh, welcome to 10 minute podcast.com. Speaking of money and not making it, but please do this anyway. If you're going to buy something through Amazon, uh, go through our podcast, 10 minute podcast.com and buy it there, but hit the banner. There's all sorts of banners there. Uh, there's game fly, right? Brian? Uh, yeah. uh, my name is Will Sasso. I'm Brian. The kid. Callen. I'm Chris D'Elia. What's up, Brian? You okay? Trouble breathing. What do you mean? I have a problem breathing right now. Uh, okay. Why? Tightness in my chest. My chest is tight. Why? Uh, you got some. It usually stems from emotional <sighs> stuff. I don't know. Who gives a shit? What's Hopefully the problem? I'm dying? Huh? What? None. What's the problem? Chill. I just have a problem right now. Why don't you tell us? Is about it the problem? A, a, a medical? No, because if I tell you guys are going to make fun of me, you're not going to help me. Well, that's Yay. probably true. But, Yay. So, so right. definitely tell us. So, well, come on. Is moving it, on. Moving good on. Time. doesn't matter anyway. What is it? You know, you think you know a woman, uh, you know? You think it... Uh, well, that's right? already disrespectful. Yeah. He didn't I even had say to burp. See, Sorry. All right. Why, this well, why you can I'm hold it. No, no, come on. Look, look. Tell uh, us. Can I just say something? Look. For me, do it. Yeah, he, All whatever. I'll talk to you. Thank you. I'm listening. You know, when you're, when you're, you think you know a woman, you know? I've been there. Yeah, well, and then they say something in bed, and you're like, you know, what? Uh, Is your woman giving you problems? Is your property giving you problems? That don't you don't yeah, don't call I, it that. You're gonna lose female that I, listeners. I'm having a little trouble shaking. I'll be honest, but you know, I don't want to deal with this bullshit where you guys are like, Ooh. no, no, no. Okay, right, let's well, you already brought it up, so you obviously look, need to talk about and here's it. The so thing. what? You is know, it? we're on the podcast. We're funny, ha ha ha. But you know, the three of us are actually great friends in real life. We're on the level, and sometimes I kind of wish our audience could see that. Yeah. So that's true. Let's just be for real, like for real. Like, right. what's the problem? Uh, look, I love you, dude. Like, I love straight you too. Up. Like, I love you too. Yeah. You know, right. so well, I appreciate friends. that. I just find it weird that I'm having sex mm-hmm. with my wife. Back she, off the mic she, a little bit, obviously. Right, that's of course, and that's for sure, obviously. Yeah. Well, see, and then she wanted me. She. It's so funny. What did she want? What did she want? It's so weird. <laughs> what is it? What is it? She say she wanted me to talk. We're having what? sex, and she said, "Talk black. Talk like you're black." talk like you're a black guy so it's like i i don't it's like what so you want me to did you i think she dated black guys which i'm fine with yeah of course you no, know, i don't not. give a shit but i mean yeah, it's yeah. like well not now you're not well fine obviously with it. you know obviously it, that you do think well what do you mean black guys like black athletes and she's like yeah i had there were a couple of black athletes basketball players you know they just you, we go through this thing you know right. like, black guys who are regular black guys? If they find out a girl's dating, like dated an NBA player, they're gonna be like, "Well, how big is his dick?" It's not like a thing. It's just, it's just like, why would she want me to talk that way? That's obviously a fantasy to be right. really black. I don't even know what the fuck that means. What? Talk black. Okay, what but fuck wait, does that yeah. mean? actually, that's my what question. What the fuck does that mean? All right, what calm does down, she mean? Man. Calm down. Like, does she mean like use sort of uh, urbanism? I don't and, fucking and, know. Uh, hey, I don't know, bro. I just got mad. All right, and I left. All right, well, you well, left. First of all, wait, what? Don't yeah. you have a house with her? Yeah, well, I didn't you even know you were married. You know what? Good luck playing and paying the mortgage now. Sweetheart, I didn't even know you Brian, married. you left. Yeah, you can't. You got your kids. Well, your beautiful I had, wife. I, I, you have kids? Are they my kids? 
I didn't even know. Of you course, had they're kids. your kids. They look like you. Unfortunately, haven't done a, haven't done a DNA test. Well, they look uh, like you. Right. They came out of your beautiful wife, and they look like yeah. you. Okay, well, she Which can is go, a, she, she can go moonlight with black guys or whatever it is she wants. All right. To do. So what did she? So what did you do? Did you do it? Did you do a black guy thing? I mean, I tried. I tried to ob- 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 oblige her, but I don't and, know okay, how to do that. Okay. And what did you do? How did you do it? Means. Try it. Try it. Like, what did you do? I, I didn't want to be stereotypical. Okay, but but what, what, did, what did she want? So I was she like want this. Stereoty- I go, yo, yo, I'm up in this bad. I'm I'm up in this bad motherfucker right now. Oh, oh okay, God. right away. Well, that that's sounds not... really bad. Well, I mean, I was feeling a little Were emotional. Doing... Yeah, but that's not even the way. Oh, black I'm guys up talk. in this bad motherfucker. I don't, don't know, call... dude. Are you are, are you are you calling her vagina a bad motherfucker? <laughs> I don't know how to. I don't even know what. But, talk but that's black like means. not even. That's like like 84 there, black guys. Yeah. Could you talk exactly like I do? Black like black in the past. You get. Yeah, she didn't say black in the past. Hey, J- say- hey, Jive Turkey. Oh, yeah, Jive Turkey. Hey, Look. pretend, hey, fuck me like you're Robert Townsend. <laughs> All right. Well, that's what, that's well, not Ro- what she Robert said. Robert Townsend happens to speak like me, basically. Fuck me like Carl Weathers. Right. So, <laughs> Carl Weathers speaks like me. You need, so to, exactly. you need to bring a little so, flavor. So, uh, well, Look, when your wife says, you got to bring a little flavor, you got to be like, you got to be like, yo, baby, I'm going to get it in. Okay, well, I think that might be a little bit Jesus too characteristic. <laughs> really? Jesus. Yeah, it's just you got to black up your voice a little bit. All right, what's up, girl? I girl. I mean, a, right, let maybe me tell a, you something, girl. I guess, but a little right, bit less. Gonna fuck. I we gonna fuck up in here? That's right, not right. that sexy. Jesus. That's no, not that not sexy. Okay, you got to be more not... sexy and flavorful. Like, like, yeah, what's up, baby? Oh, yeah, that feels good. You know what, man? That's I'm getting images did. now of guys saying that to my wife, so I don't appreciate. Not that this is not that it's black, but like, yeah. Oh, damn, that feels. Oh damn, baby, oh, that's shit. real. Oh yeah, oh damn, oh fuck. Oh, see, here, oh baby, see, you yeah. sound like you, you sound like a giant black guy with a yeah, huge, real, dick. huge black no, guy. Here's the thing. Well, I'm a huge. You guy. sound like a completely different person. You have to make it you. Right. Like you got to be. But like, I do like hey, voices and stuff. I, I understand. Yeah, but, but the like, question is, why is my wife turned on by that? Well, I'll tell you why. The question it means more in her is, past, no, she's no, obviously but that's the prefers past. Black guys. That's the past, and that's the past. And the question more is. What's wrong with you that you can't pull this yeah, off? Yeah, what's wrong with you? Hey, guys. Can't you just be like, hey, baby, check it out. Look, no. yo, hey, hey, girl, hey, let me come at you real straight like, is what's up. I'm going to take this here dick out, and I'm going to put it inside of, in, inside of you. You know what I'm saying? I just find that so we uncomfortable. We're going to do it like right. fuck style. Or like, how, like this, like, hey, 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 hey yo, let me baby, try it. hey, damn. Yo, when I first saw you back in the dark, back where we was hanging, you was hot. But for real, I'm going to get up in that guts right now. In that what? I'm going to get up, up in, in them guts. guts. You know, like guts? Blah. That's right. Well, I'll that means his dick is going to be so uh-huh. fucking... You guys are... Stop it. That's why I'm going to get up in them guts, baby. Okay. Ooh, I'm going to do a swoop down move? <laughs> what is a swoop down move? Is this what this... Is this you the also gotta have. You also got to have a nickname. Like, you got to have a nickname. Like, like call yourself like... Um, do you think that she was... You call like what? Uh, Did she date black guys? Oh, that's maybe? black magic in you? <laughs> Oh, that, oh, you want some black magic in you? <laughs> Why are you angry at her? Oh, it's always questions. Oh, oh, damn. Oh, that's that dick? <laughs> okay, okay. All right. It's, you're not oh, help, You guys aren't helping. You're making me more jealous and more fucked up. Oh, stuff. where yeah. am I going now? No. Nah, nah. What do you mean, where am I going now? He's got even more dick? Oh, shit. Oh, y'all felt half of it? Hey, baby. I'm about to bring that midnight chain up <laughs> in this bitch. Let me bring in the midnight Please stop chains. doing that, so, bro. But you're, yeah. So your wife. Oh, what? Oh, now I got this up in you now? Exactly. Right, the question. Jesus. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Chris, Christ, you're right about the question. Guys. Oh, no. Oh, I'm about to bust up in you. Oh, no. Not another <laughs> one. Okay, 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 bro. All right, all right. I, I, hey, please stop doing hey, this. First, I pull my dick out. But no. now I'm going to push, push them shits back in. Yeah, I'm putting shit. So that I think that's what your wife. That, you? That's hot no. to your wife. That's what your wife. Wants. I don't even know how to make my voice like that. And I'm well, not, try. What do you mean? That's it. what my wife wants. That's hey, what she wants. You, you, got, you got to be like this. Hey, Brian Callen's wife. I'm gonna spread your beautiful porcelain legs like this. Then I'm gonna take out my dick, which is right up on top of my purple and midnight black balls. Okay. And I'm gonna push it into your cunt. You I think are, there you go. You guys are not helping me. At all. Well, why don't you try it? You didn't try it. You just said, let me get what up you, in that bad motherfucker. You want me to say do that? All right, let me try it. Yeah, try okay. it. You just sound like Jason Statham. Yeah, you sound like your shitty Jason. <laughs> you sound like a deaf I'm, Jason I'm Statham. Statham. <laughs> I'm about to tickle your belly button. You sound like inside. something. You, you sound, sound like, like I'm watching Transporter and something's I'm, wrong with my TV. I'm, 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 
Okay, hold on, hold on. I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm about to, I'm tickle that belly button from the inside. Where is that guy uh, from? I don't know. I'm a tickle. I'm tickle. He's a black. Is that Harry Carey? He's a black European. Oh, I'm, 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 I'm a tickle. Hi, I'm a I, I will tickle that belly. Oh, there you oh, go. Go Indian. African. You can do African. See, this, Brian, that's all you, you need go. to do. No. Just go pretend you're a Kenyan marathon runner. Seriously? Yes. That's the way you're going to satisfy your wife. No, no, if you will allow me to take my dick. Maybe that's what she meant. Yeah. And place it inside your vagina. Right. You can come. <laughs> Thanks for listening to 10 Minute Podcast. Thanks for subscribing and downloading on iTunes. If you like the show, please tell one friend. Let's keep this going. We're on Twitter at 10 Min Pod, Facebook slash 10 Min Pod, uh, Vine, and all three of us are on Vine. This is a bad idea. It's a good idea. No, it's a bad idea and it's not going to work. It's an excellent idea. I promise you it's going to work. You'll see. Some podcasts are slow And you don't know how long they last That's why you're listening to 10 Minute Podcast Hey, welcome to 10 Minute Podcast You yeah. like podcasts? <laughs> you buy uh, Amazon you Come go on, we don't have time Hurry right. up we got a lot of time. No, we got because, 10 minutes. Because the, 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 what, what I told Will is that this is Brian Callen. Anyway, Brian anyway, yeah. going to finish what I say. Uh, if you like our show, rate and review us on iTunes. That would help us a bunch. Look, Buy your Amazon thru- stuff. Thru- you're wasting thru- time. Thru- you're hmm. wasting time so you can win this through, bet. This, there's no bet. First of all, let me get something straight. Oh, there's, no fun, there's no bet. But wh- uh, buy your stuff on Amazon through 10minutepodcast.com. We'll get a kickback. You'll get your stuff so for the what? same price. My name is Will the Samoan Hulk Sasso. I'm Brian the Kid Callen. Chris, uh, what's his last He's name? Not here. I don't remember. Chris He's Lee. not here. here. Listen up, people. We're going to write a song. I'm, I'm proving to Will that we can write a hit song in 10 minutes. Okay, I'm going to show you is- how easy it is to be a pop, pop star. Okay? <laughs> this is, okay, this is for real. Brian's like... Get your guitar. Let's try to write a song. And all in you got to do is come up with something ironic. Say, have an ironic statement. Yeah. And then and then catch a so, groove. So this is Brian's go. thing, but I'm going to help him. But I don't think he can do it. Yeah. In 10 and minutes. let's write do something. Let's do something gritty and bluesy. Even I don't know. You got yeah. There it is. Sometimes to leave. Sometimes to save the ones you love, you got to leave them behind. Sometimes I save the ones you okay, love. Okay, wait. You what leave first? Me That's pretty good, dude. Sometimes I save the ones you love. You gotta leave, gotta them, leave them behind. behind. Yeah. The snow is deep and my mama's crying. <laughs> That's nothing. The snow is deep. I got nothing to eat and my mama's crying. The snow is okay, deep. You're just saying... I got nothing no, man. to eat, I don't... and my mama's crying. Hold no. on, you got to tell a story when you sing. I gotta get to the other if, look, side. First of all, first of all, if you're gonna sing lame. that loud, you got. If you're gonna sing that loud, you gotta back right. off the I fucking. Gotta, I have a strong voice, Mike. No, it's not about that. It's about that. you screeching into the mic. No, and I got a strong if, voice. I think a lot of our even loyal listeners have shut it off at this point. No. So let's let's. You got. Just like a few minutes left here. We got right, like we got se- seven, eight minutes. So what, what's like, what kind of themes you want to do? I want you to think about themes. You're going to write a song in under 10 minutes now. Yeah. What sort of tone? What kind of music I is it? What sort my, of style? I got to my family behind and go find food and we're stuck in a valley of snow. I don't like it, but I'm here to support you. That's a dumb idea for a it's song. It's a good song. I don't like it as a Stakes blues song. High. Blues are very easy. It should be like a love song, you know, like one of those. Uh, who did? Uh, oh, well, I can do a love song. Just a little bit. Wait. So we can use that riff. But you're stealing that. Yeah, I can't do that. Yeah, so change it up a little bit. Yeah, but that's not our song. So let's go. Yeah, with I this. can't do it. As a matter of fact, if I sang any more than that, we'd. I'd like money. to take my. I want to give take a little me. bit. No, but that's another give song. a little bit of my life for you. You can change it. Give a little bit of my flesh for you. I cut myself. Girls think it's sexy when you cut yourself. No, they don't. No, they don't. I take out okay, my heart so- with a dull knife. Take out my heart with a dull knife. And pin it to a board. Okay. Put it Come on, on man. your wall. I'm not so playing yet. Know. Okay, wait. I'm going to play just a simple riff. All right? all right. Just a little chord progression. Right. Gonna- what do you want? A love song? Because yeah. I had this whole story yeah. in my head. All right. I'll give you a love song. She was in love with that guy on the hill. He had a fancy car. 
big house and with nothing to do. I worked in a factory. My hands were calloused, sweaty and bleeding. Here's the chorus. All I wanted to do was no, wait, wait, wait. That's not a good chorus. A, uh, wait, wait. All I wanted to do was take you away from here and show you that I'm more I don't like that. than nothing. <laughs> Okay. So the That's first good, part dude. is that so the first part is got chills. Take you away from me. That's this. That Wait, shut up, dude. One more. Okay. All I wanted to do was take you away from me and show you that I was more than nothing. But he had his friends come to my house. Okay. They took bats to my knees and my mouth. Now I don't have teeth and I can't walk. I smash my hands so I can't play song. Yeah. All I have is my eyesight and my heart. I'm just hard and eyes. Hard and eyes. He's hard and Bring it down. Tell a story. I'm just a lump. Tell a story, yeah. All I can do is beat and see, beat and see. So why don't you come and touch me? And you'll be looked upon and you'll feel my blood begin to rush. Bring it back to the heart and eyes. pumping and be a lot faster. Cause when you're a heart and eyes, all you can do is pump faster to show how much you love. Can't talk cause they cut my tongue out, broke all my teeth and broke my knees. Smashed Slow my down. feet and shaved my head, scarred me up real good. Heart and eyes! Heart and eyes! All I can do is beat and see and fucking beat and see, 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 see. Heart and eyes! That loves you can't give you nothing but he loves you. Can't give you nothing but he loves you. He sits in his own ways. Doesn't smell good. Probably not very sanitary. Yeah, I'll probably die of something nasty, but in the meantime, you'll know there's a heart and eyes that loves you. Beating faster when he sees you Blood rushing through his lump Hard and eyes Hard and eyes Wrap it up Hard and eyes Hard and eyes I don't care what you say, dude I Hard swear to God, I think we just wrote a hit <laughs> I'm not I don't know if that's it. Hard but nice. that was, bad was a, We absolutely just did that. We did that, dude. It's a good song. Yeah, it's not bad. Not bad at all. When they took the bat to my, my knees and my face. <laughs> I really heart so and eyes is pretty good. It's pretty good. Dude, man. for real, next time we do a live show, we gotta do heart and eyes. Alright. We're gonna bring heart and eyes out. We're gonna bring heart and eyes out, everybody. Oh, and if you're playing if you're keeping score of that live show we did. Uh, this is for our super fans, our very loyal listeners. That that we're, we're going to make that available at some point. You know what? We've we all have... been busy. I've been the busiest. Then Chris. Then it's you. Not true, dude. I've been You've busy been too. so not busy that you're thinking up ideas like let's write a, a hit song. You've fallen back on let's write songs. I want to sit around ready to make real money. I want to sit around in Venice and I am going to register the song with BMI. This is you my should. song. I wrote it. What? Well, I wrote the music. Excuse me. And I went I, in the middle. I was like. No, 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 man. Na, na, na. But I wrote the Heart and Eyes. Heart and Eyes belongs and then, to me. Heart and Eyes. You know that whole thing. No, that was I was like, Heart and Eyes. Yeah, all right. Uh, oh, wow. wow. Well, I kind of... Uh, we did it. <laughs> I guess I lost the bet. Was it a handshake bet? We you didn't know what? Come up- Can I say? 
this song, this music? Yeah. Is there something we can sing over this? Go ahead. You used to all the time. Sometimes when I'm running through the trees and the weeds and the fields of life. Yeah. A little louder. I realize there's hidden danger. Not as loud. Back off the mic. Be careful. Like yellow Japanese wasps. Oh, hey, guys. Hey, Brian brought in bees. A bear and bees. What else? Maybe what other kind of animals? A crite, a banded crite. What kind of straight up narrative are you going to share a with us? A banded crite is a snake you never live from. It bites you and you go blind. All right. Uh, thanks for listening to the 10 Minute Podcast. Uh, and uh, Brian was right and I was wrong. We wrote a song. <laughs> Good song. It's so dude. stupid. Greatest podcast no, of all time. I don't know about that. Thanks, everybody. And Brian, get off your phone. And Chris, get on your phone because it's the beginning of the show. So that's weird. You guys I'm are doing the opposite the wow. of what you're doing. Some podcasts are slow, and you don't know how long they last. That's why you're listening to 10-Minute Podcast. Hey, you know, 10-Minute uh, Podcast. Do. Do. Do all the things. Uh, you, know, you know how Amazon works. You've been listening to the show. If not, listen to all of the shows so you know. Yeah, do your name. And um, go to go to iTunes. Rate and review our show Skip on it. iTunes. And uh, no, Chris, that's how this fucking works, all right, cool. man. For your fuck's name. sake. My name is Will the uh, Mesomorphic ah, Minotaur. Man. The shittiest, longest <laughs> yeah, nickname. Really. Sasso. Like nobody's ever going to use it. People use it. Man, man. <laughs> Brian, the kid, Callan, still got it. 215. 215, 215. 2015. What is it yeah, 2015. Oh. 2015, here I, here I come. Boom! The year 215 right. was I'm, a I'm, long I'm, time. Yeah, listen, I, I'm... <laughs> what? That is a long time it ago. It is a long time ago. Yeah, All right, I'm Chris. I'm Chris. I don't really... I'm Chris. I don't have a nickname, which is what to get him wrong. So, um, yeah. Hey, dude, I have something really I actually fast, want to talk about. fast. I actually want to talk... I want to say something here. Because he I got something on my fucking mind, he, okay? He, he's, you he, came he, in hot. I know. He's so tense. Usually, he's like kind of dicking around. Right. He's got no, a sip of coffee. No. He's looking at the phone. No. Chris is looking straight forward. Yeah. yeah he, he came in hot. Yeah. Let me distill it down very simply, okay? Yeah. Would you like to reduce it? Like I'm nice reducing reduction? it. It's a nice reduction sauce, okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Hey. A glaze, a demi glaze. Absolutely. Are you going to pour some demi glaze on this? That's podcast? what I'm going to do. I'm going to okay. pour some demi glaze, and I'm going to fucking just have a little bit of reduction sauce on it. His jets I'm gonna are hot. Di- I'm going to distill it down to a very pure thing that I'm going to say right now. The okay. meter's red hot right now. Here's He's the a deal. Bright orange hot. Here's right the deal. Now. If you're not a singer, don't share your singing talents. Okay, you, especially on fucking social media. All right. Do you know how many fucking people on Facebook, on Instagram, on something, on Snapchat decide to sing to the camera? Well, yeah. Okay. And well, then and then post it. And yeah. and you know what? If you're Josh Groban, thank you, Josh Groban. Yeah. I just got what you do. And As you're a saying that because of for free, and you're saying that because of our serious Christmas singing episode this year and the dr- Josh Groban shit I laid down. Yeah, I think that 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 you didn't no. really do that, but yeah, I thought was on that. Like Josh I happen Groban to think tip. Josh Groban is a very talented, yeah. successful, and very good singer. Yes, he okay. Is. Now I don't think we would just dis- nobody would disagree with no. that. No, hey, if you're just somebody, yeah, don't put that out there. Well, I have to. Okay, I, I want to disagree with one part of what you said. Go for and, it. And then I want to dig into the rest of what you're saying. Go for you it. You seem very passionate about it. Yeah. The part about Snapchat, I have to say this about that. Don't have Snapchat. Fine. Okay, okay? fine. So, And I've said that before on the show. That's fine. I disagree don't with that, but Snapchat. I'm not even... It doesn't no, no, really no, matter. Don't have Snapchat. Unless you're a slut. <laughs> oh my god Brian. No but that's I'm just saying No 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 I, Brian, All I mean oh is that god. If, Amend if, that if, Brian. If The only reason To have Snapchat Is if you're a Hustler slut Oh my god Brian. A hustler oh, no, slut Brian. No I just I don't know no, no, I, I don't just know, mean I just mean no. If you're into Showing older dudes You're Oh, yeah, that's all I'm saying. Look, no, I don't mean it that the way. Views of Brian. Don't, I mean, I, I think the only reason you own. should have Snapchat is if you're gonna send a little video with your smashed up butterfly. <laughs> Whoa! What the fuck, you know, Chris? Yeah, that's that's all, also you know? coming Jeez, from that's... another. That's coming from another Jeez. episode. I'm where, just saying. Where Chris was saying, you got to show a little bit of discoloration. But Chris, don't say smashed up butterfly, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god! That took me right out of. Yeah. 
My yeah. perversion. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't know. Yeah. You know. If you're going to use Snapchat, this is what Chris <laughs> is trying to say. If you're going to use Snapchat, use it to send a picture of your satellite image of Mount St. Helens. Yeah, that's right. I mean, just satellite picture of a volcano. Yeah, you don't, you don't have to have Snapchat unless you're going to show your baboon rudder. <laughs> Whoa. You know? Guys, yeah. the only yeah. reason anybody should really have, have Snapchat what? is if yeah. you're going to show off your bearded class. Hey, hi. <laughs> uh, look, here's the deal, Okay, dude. so singing. Uh, if, it's just, just like, this is an, I would say it's a pandemic here. Wow. What you're doing is right. you've got these people who've got outlets to whatever they want, and they're just going to sing with no irony, yep. in all seriousness, mm-hmm. to their quote unquote. Don't say it. Fans. Ah, oh, fuck. Now I'm on board with but Chris. Chris. There you Chris, go. Hold on, uh, but Chris, Will. I there's mean, so many people that sing to the camera, whether it be male or female, yeah. and think that they can do it. Uh, Jessica. Okay. But, but, but wait, I, I You're have to not a singer. Them. That's like if I laid out outlines of an architect and I was like making a – and I was like – I drew a patio and I was like, this is where the patio would be. <laughs> if you guys want to add a patio to your house, check it out. Look at that. And I'm not an architect. You're not? But, but no. Chris, but Chris, no, I'm going to do that. Hey, that's guys. how you get better. I mean – uh, somebody like said they're not going to be dream. a singer, but they're not singers, and they're not playing. But they to might be, a be if they. If well, they, look, if they look. Okay, there's a lot of things enough. that people can do on social media that get real, real fucking annoying. And while I'm not going to get in anyone's way with regard to what they want to do, I kind of agree with Chris on that because he used the F word. Fans, which I don't, I don't even like that word. As, yeah, as we I know, them, people yeah. who listen to the 10-Minute Podcast, I don't refer to them as that dirty word. They're <clears throat> friends. The we friends. appreciate it, friends. Right. Um, friends. Yeah, because I don't like the fans thing. Chris, I will say this. I'm going to admit something to you guys. I have the Snapchat app. Yeah, I know. I've had it. I, I've never sent a Snapchat. All right. I've never told people what my Snapchat name You'd is. You'd be an elitist. But... And, uh, nah, nah, lee. Uh, but uh, people from that I know have sent things, and there was a person that I saw who sent, and this is, person is not in the public eye, right? And they had sent these very long. They send you, then they Brian. send you their meat maw. No, they no send meat you a picture ma- of their meat maw. The fried butterfly. Yeah, the oh. Their noodle ball. No, uh, then they send you a picture of their. No, uh, this person started their their Snapchat. It was a video with with this, and this is the worst way to start any social media yeah. video what? audio when you can actually appeal to someone and you can see their face and hear what? the voice. This is what they started with. Hey guys, that's the worst yeah, because what comes is. after "Hey guys" right. is you're all looking at me. Right, right you're all right, paying attention. Right. And this person proceeded to break down their day as if they were I don't know Taylor uh, uh, Swift. Uh, uh, like if Taylor Swift went. Yo. Hey guys, I just got back from the mall. I right. bought people presents. You, you, you right. heard about this. You did recently. Yeah. She's going to have a hey million guys, people watch her. But she's that's Taylor awesome. Yeah. She has yeah. fans. fans. She's a rock yeah. star. That's great. Also, this person goes, hey guys, and goes on with their fucking day. No. And that's a problem. So yeah. now I have to check Snapchat to see if they're singing. But also, what are we supposed to do with 15 <laughs> that's a good point. seconds of listening to you sing? <laughs> what, what, what are we supposed to do? do with that that's a good she's point she's trying to brighten your day what is no, that no 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 fuck that actually I'm completely on Chris's but, but side now but she's trying to brighten your day guys I mean she's got a pretty face why is but it a she it's, and that doesn't have to be a she but it usually is let's be it, honest oh, now, guys but now it, it seems probably, like you're, you're agreeing with Chris it, it you said some horrible things earlier is a girl that wait you that. said you used some language earlier about women using Snapchat but and if, now it's only women that are well, singing well, it, I mean, it probably usually is girls yeah, that do and that and if she's singing if she's singing while she's showing your Meat oh god, that's very like, sexist. No, no. I just feel like that would brighten my day. You know, oh, if you took god. like a mound of butter and then you put it in the microwave, but then in the middle you took a chicken breast and it exploded. Okay, oh, listen, you guys, I god, don't agree with Will. any of this. Yeah. I think that you know, man, woman, whatever. But what am I? What am I supposed to do? That's a good with point. Fifteen seconds of you singing. What the. F- Fuck, am I supposed Chris, to Chris, you're do? getting worked up over... It's also not a full song. Yeah. You're just humming a bunch of, oh, 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 and, 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 then what? <laughs> well, she was probably... Chris. You're, you're, look, Chris, All you're right, becoming well, famous. Let me move She might the... think that maybe you have some pull in the business. No, no, no. And you no, might no say, it's, no, it's, it's for everybody. It's everybody. Instagram or Facebook or She's whatever. She's getting her talent right, well, let out me, there. Let me, let me move the conversation forward by saying this. You third. Chris, you do Chris, what? Perhaps you'd like to comment on it or like it. 
No. I, well, Why I, not? sometimes I write, hey, what are you doing? You ask that question? Yeah, or like, but d- you, wh- sound, you sound elitist. Who's this for? Who's this for is a good question. That's a, that's well, a fair you're working, question. You're, pu- you're spending time working the wrong way. But what if she says, it's for you? That was the song I wrote for you. That's beautiful. But I don't, but is it's not. Is that what you would say? Yeah, but no. This is for well, Crystal Lee. Uh, okay, I love not, him it's a lot. Not, dude. You know, and, and I'm talking about people who are not singers that aren't even aspiring to be singers. I think people they should. They just do it. I think people also, should. Also, why are models taking. Why are people who aren't models doing photo shoots? Well, that, what the fuck is that? That's annoying. That's, that's annoying. annoying. Oh, yeah. oh, you're not a model, but you're, you have nice pictures near a rock yeah, somewhere. Yeah, well, well, what the fuck are you I'm doing that for? Somewhere. But what? that's a question that is becoming as old as time. You know, yeah. a lot of people are doing that. But I think everyone should go on Instagram if they have it and sing a song. Yeah, a 15-minute song and yeah. tag us. Tag, tag and do us. it nice. Don't you fucking joke about it, you pieces of shit. Hey, Chris. Hey, Chris. What would you do to these people? I what? would fucking lock them up. What? I would fucking lock them up. I would... Could you sit farther away, please? From you? From me. Oh. Some podcasts are so and you don't know how That's not what you're listening to. This is the Steven Seagal Show. I'm Steven Seagal. Welcome to the Steven Seagal Show. Thank you. No, not you. Everybody. <laughs> My name is Steven Seagal. Yes. Today awesome. on the, the first episode of the Steven Seagal Show, I have someone who's no stranger to shows. Brian. That was a question. Yeah, no, I've um, been acting and doing stand-up for a long time. Byron Collins. Brian, yeah, it's Brian Callum. It says here, Byron Collins. Oh. So that's what I'm going to go with. Brian Callum, that was my What is that? Name. My, my real name is Brian Callum. Is that Korean or something? No, it's not. It's Irish. I mean, I'm, I, but my mother's Italian. You got your you got your Irish name from your mother's, from your Italian well, mother? My, no, my dad decided to name me Brian, which which was his No, name your last best name. Friend. Callan, Call- yeah, that was, I took my father's Collins last is name. not a town. Callan. So you're an actor yeah. or something? Yeah, I'm an actor too. I know. <laughs> yeah, I've been in a lot and of a movies. And a lawman. Yeah, and a, I'm a police officer. I'm a seventh degree black belt in Aikido. Yep. And um, I did, uh, I was a wrestler and I'm a black belt in Taekwondo. Do you think you can kick my ass? <laughs> That's of course a hypothetical question here on the Steven Seagal yeah. uh, show right. because the literal answer is no. Oh, because okay. nobody can. Nobody can? Tell us about your career. Do you think you can beat up uh, most anybody? I well, mean, right I now. Yeah, absolutely. Why really? Let me tell you something that one of my senseis told me, that the difference between fight training and, and being in a real fight on the street is the difference between swimming in the water or swimming on a mat. Hmm. You know, heavy bags don't hit back. Yeah. This is what I told Anderson Silva. Yeah, you know, um, there's been a lot of speculation about I've been exactly in above the law, under siege. No, I know. Under siege 2. Did you see that one? Did I you like that one? I did see that one. I did. Urban Justice, Flight of Fury, Attack Force, Shadow Man, Submerged, Today You Die, Dragon Squad, Out of yeah. Reach, Belly of the Beast, Out for a Kill. Yeah. You know those? The Patriot, Not Even the Trees, Fire Down Below, Glimmer Man, Under Siege 2. Did I say that one yet? Yeah. On Deadly Ground? Yeah. How about Under Siege? Yeah. So I think I know a thing or two about fighting. I know. Um, but, you know, one of the things that I've Where heard, did you get your start? I got my start, uh, I guess, Mad TV. First time I was out here in 1995. Not familiar. It's a, it was a sketch show. What on, real shows did you do? What real shows? I mean, as in drama or what do you mean? As in, if you don't answer my question, I'm going to get... You know, oh, kind of cheesed off here. You're the first guest of the Steven Seagal so- show, and so far it's, it's it's it's. I've been in. I mean, I can go through my resume if you want. I did was on Seventh Heaven. I was no, in I don't Sex wanna, in the City. I, I want to talk. I want to talk. Yeah, I want to toast to actor. I'm Steven Seagal. Right. What's the key to your art? Just authenticity. Mine is that I play guitar, and I do rock gardens. Helps me think. Uh huh. Well, mine is that I just write and I get up on stage and I do stand up. One of my yeah. teachers, a sensei, told me that the difference between taking what you do in a rock garden yeah. and then 
doing it, using it in real life is a difference of scale. You see, rock gardens are very small. Yeah. They they sit in little trays. You speak Japanese, right? I mean, like a little, like a little, uh, we, was your influence, tray. your influence is mostly Asian. I mean, uh, your Japanese senseis and stuff. My teachers come from abroad. Did you ever study, you know, um, jujitsu most... or karate or I've studied all, all of the, the martial arts. Um, I, I, um, did you teach Anderson Silva that front kick? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Oh. I was, uh, well, I was an Aikido instructor in Japan to answer your question. Um, and, but the, the, probably the, if, if you'd like to turn it, turn it around, to ask me a question, even though this isn't the Bri- Byron Collins show, it's Brian the, the teacher I learned the most from is actually from right here in the United States. Oh. He's from Michigan. You know, and would you like to know who that is? Yes. His name is Steven Seagal. <laughs> so you, is that funny? Well, a little bit. I mean, so you are your best teacher. We are all our best teachers. Oh, I but see. But especially okay. if your name is Steven Seagal. Well, your real name is Steven Siegel, right? Did you change it to Seagal? I only ask that because I, I, I did a movie with your wife, uh, your ex-wife, sorry, Kelly LeBrock. Really uh, great Also girl. not familiar. What? Your, no, your wife was Kelly LeBrock. You were married to her. Okay. I seem to remember something. Yeah, sure. You seem to remember you were married for, to her for 10 years. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, things don't work out. No, I know. Uh, she's a wonderful girl, but I think the problems in that marriage basically boiled down to the fact that she wasn't pretty enough. She wasn't pretty enough? Nope. She was one of the most beautiful women in the world. I mean... One when... of, not the... So you... I'll have... ask I'll ask the questions here, Byron. Brian. What's next for Byron Collins? Brian, Callan. Um, I am doing the Goldbergs right now. I have a recurring role, and I'm going to get ready to do Kingdom, which is a show about mixed martial arts on DirecTV. Yeah, I'll be a consultant. <sighs> um, it's an that's... upfront fee of $250,000. I'm going to need it in escrow, Swiss Bank. I don't, uh, I don't do any of that stuff. I just show up as an actor, so I don't, know, I don't talk to the producers. That's something you'd have okay, to Okay, well, I guess now. that's the difference between your show. What's it called, Kingdom? Yeah. Yeah. Well, now it might. There's a good chance it'll be called shitdom. Is that funny too? You're a com- comedian, funny guy. Yeah. Tell me one of your jokes. Um, I don't really tell jokes. I I kind of more. You'd have to see the show. You know, I tell stories. Tell one of your funny stories. We don't have a lot of time. I uh, I can't, I can't do that. I'm never good with that. You know, when I'm put on the spot. All right. Well, speaking of being put on the spot, get good with it and do it. <laughs> you could do stand up probably. <laughs> I have done stand-up. Oh. And I'll probably do it again. When? Stop scratching your beard. It's making a stupid sound in the mic, and you're pissing me off. Sorry. You, apology <sighs> accepted. Don't bring up my ex-wife. Oh, sorry about What's that. What's your favorite movie of mine? Uh, I wrote a script better than Star Wars, but it, it, no one wants to make it yet. Well, okay. I thought Above the Law was really good. you like motorcycles? Good. I liked you. And, do you like I motorcycles? Don't, I don't ride them. I'm afraid I got of them. a purple one. What's your favorite kind of food? My favorite I kind like of... steak. I like... Do you like steak? Steak, too. Do you want to go... Yeah. You want to go for steak? I am so busy. You want to go to Ruth's Chris? It's the dumbest name for a restaurant ever. What the fuck is that about? I would agree with you on that. Ruth's Chris. It's a really dumb name. Ruth's... R- Ruth, apostrophe S. Ruth's Chris. Chris, steakhouse. It is a really dumb name. Why don't, why don't we go there, have steak, and then flip the... I actually can't. Let's flip the place upside down. Tell them it's because they, because they, 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 their their name is dumb. No, I don't. Yeah, beat the shit out of the bus boys and the servers and the wait staff and the cooks and all why that shit. Why would you do that? I, I, Be like a movie. Yeah, no, I'm not. How about this for a movie? Steven Seagal's Ruth's Chris Steakhouse, the movie. Yeah. Commercial tie-in. I don't know. You like blondes, brunettes, or redheads? I like pretty much all. I'm an equal opportunity employer. You like uh, you like olive skin girls, like darker skin. I do skin like tan? yes, yes. That's typically what I go for. You said you're Scottish. No, I'm Irish. Italian. You like the sort of like pale girls with red hair? Uh, yeah. I mean, I, I can. Is like that what them Kelly too. LeBrock was? I don't remember. Kelly LeBrock was got beautiful curly hair and a beautiful how do you not remember your wife of i think she was we were married to did she have like a red bob and and uh no like little uh thin lips 
No. I'm mistaking her for someone else named Kelly then. Uh, how do you not remember this? That girl was a piece of ass. She was all, she was very pale. She had very, she had alabaster skin. Yeah, I don't yeah. know. She um, had a gentle way about her. What's your favorite hot rod? Do you collect cars? I don't actually. I What's have your a, favorite vacation spot? Probably Bora Bora. Bora Bora? Yeah. Oh, I got a, you know what else is Bora Bora? This what? fucking interview. You can't answer a question. I'm doing the best I can. It doesn't seem like you're really waiting to hear the answer. You know? All right. Yeah. Okay, well, I guess with the time we got, have left, it's the, the, the Byron Collins show. Brian Callen. Congratulations. Show. You don't even have to go on to shit them. You got your own show right here, Jesus Jack. Christ. You know, if you want to be you this way. You can tell all, tell you all you know, your you, stories. There's been a lot of criticism about you saying that you taught Anderson Silva things. Yep. And a lot of UFC guys. Yep, yes, but I did. A lot did. of people say that you've never actually been in a ring and you yep. never did any grappling or well, anything like that about that but I do know this I'll arrest I'll arrest your fucking ass if you ever set foot in New Orleans I'll arrest you I'll put your face in the pavement I haven't done anything to you I'll grind you down this is a bad interview for me what's your favorite kind of food steak you like steak I guess yeah you asked me that